Hello everyone and welcome to GTA 4 LCPDFR. I'm back doing another single player. Um, I saw this come out and wow that guy's flying. I saw this come out and I thought I would do a uh, little preview of this is called uh, Countryside Mountain 5 or um, V in Roman numerals. Oh my god this guy is flying. <laughs> Holy sh... Jeez, he has to be going over 100 miles an hour. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd do a little video with using this map before me and hopefully everyone else in the group down, uh, you know, gets it and we can all play it multiplayer. What is happening with this guy? Ow. Um, I'm using a motorcycle today. I uh, made a very, very simple... Oh my god. Alright, I'm just going to move this person so they're not retarded. Um, I made a very, very simple skin to somewhat match the skins of the police car that I made before. Oop, I'm getting terrible frame rate. I'm going to cancel the traffic stop. Alright, there we go. So, anyway, I made a... Just a little simple skin to match the police car that I used last time for the motorcycle. I figured I would run some traffic on this road. And as you can tell, this person was going really fast. And I just threw my hat on the ground and grew another one out of my head. So that's the thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's just talk to this person. Speeding. I have no voice again. I, I don't know. My Somewhere along the line, I messed up the voice for... Uh, for the for the cop um i don't know i'll try to fix that so anyway i'm gonna put another it's it's the helmet for the motorcycle and it's really weird all right oh speedometer oh, oh i need to turn off els because if you mess up then you're stuck lily snow Okay, so I'm going to go talk to this person, give them a huge ticket, because they were going 100 miles an hour. Ridiculous. A $100 ticket, I guess. That's huge in the GTA world. Um, so yeah, it's a new map that came out. I'm not sure when. Uh, I just saw it today, floating ticket book. Um, weird. I've I drove around a little bit on the map, not too much and typically with these extra maps you get in those areas that are uh, just terrible frame rate so if I get if I get bad frame rate I apologize but this map seems to be not bad I'm gonna stop this car because it has no has no tail lights I'm just gonna kind of maneuver my car out of, my motorcycle out of the way so yeah I um saw this map and I thought, uh, that, oh, f f <sighs> I'm dead, lady. I'm dead. All right. You don't need to keep shooting me. <sighs> well, I have no idea where I'm going to spawn. Wow. I'm at the hospital in Broke Stuker. So that's great. Uh, as you can tell, this is the map right here. Um, you can download it from gta4mods.com. I'll link it in the description for you guys. So if you guys want to go download it and try it out. Pretty simple to, pretty simple to install. Just you know, follow the instructions. Um, I'm going to attempt to spawn another motorcycle and uh, get back. But most likely... Oh, all right, so now I gotta teleport <laughs> back to the map. All right, let's just go right here. Teleport to waypoint. I think I'm under the map, so that's cool. Just gonna wait for things to load in. Oh my god. All right, I'm under the map. Hopefully I'll just appear. No, nope, I'm just gonna land in the water. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, let, let's just, uh, 
teleport there then, I guess. Oh, God, nope. Ow. <laughs> oh, this video is, is it's, uh, it's coming together really well. I'm just going to jump off here. Who cares? I'm not a multiplayer. No one will crash if I jump. All right. So, I'm going to try to get my stuff back together here. Some health and armor. And get myself some weapons. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this... Uh, Dot on the mini map. Okay. Spawn another motorcycle. Let's clean it just to make sure. <laughs> All right. Let's get my pattern. It's a process getting set up. You believe me. Um. So yeah, I figured I'd run some traffic on this new map. It it looks. My guy's arms all messed up. It uh. It looks awesome. I cannot wait to uh, actually get on it and stay on it without some lady shooting me. So, um, it looks awesome. I haven't explored all the roads yet. I just downloaded it, tried it out to make sure it worked, and then started recording. Saw that there was a main road, and I thought, hmm, I want to run traffic. I said I was going to last time, but I was just going to do it on the regular freeway, so I thought this would be... I thought this would be a little more entertaining. So this is how you get on it. You gotta be on Plumber Skyway, and you gotta pretty much just jump off this little edge, and then you get on to, uh... oh, and then it does this, um, because it thinks you're jumping off the bridge. So that's a little buggy, but eventually it, uh... eventually, 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 it'll tell you that you didn't make it, and that the jump wasn't good enough. I am just waiting for it to do that. Yes, no, maybe so. Come on now. I didn't make it, I understand that. What if I get off the motorcycle? Ah, here we go. Alright. So yeah, that that that's the only huge, you know, buggy part that I noticed. Of course, traffic's going to be a little bit off, just because it's a add-on map, but um, once you get into the, uh, the certain areas, it's not too bad. Uh, I changed my traffic density to 13 in the uh, graphics settings and options. Um, that regulates how much traffic is spawned on the, on the map, so 13 seems pretty good. There's there's cars, but there's not traffic jams, so I'm going to um, attempt to sit back in my spot here and uh, run radar. I, I haven't gotten, I don't know the speed limit. I was going to really base it off of what they were, what normal cars were driving, so I'm just going to put my radar right here. So right as they come around the corner. So a lot of people don't know that your radar is not set up there. What you want to do is you move it around with the numpad and the plus sign on the uh, numpad makes the the uh, circle bigger. And then you want to hit numpad 9, which will raise, raise the radar. And you want to get it so it's just off the ground and then go right back down. So hit numpad 3 to lower it and then alt 0 on the numpad to hide it. That way it's not it's actually capturing what they're really going because otherwise if it's just that little shadow you're not getting the accurate speed so keep that in mind if you're using a uh, IV dash cam or four dash cam so yeah I'm gonna sit here and run radar and hopefully you catch some people speeding um yeah, I haven't gone up this road. I don't really know what this map looks like, to be honest. That car's going 13 miles an hour. <sighs> so. I might move to a different spot, just because, again, I don't know uh, where traffic is coming from. But if, if something doesn't come here in the next minute, I'm going to uh, 42. Does that seem fast? Oh, that furnace. It was probably going the same. Actually, it was probably going slower than that car, but. For, um. 
Just, just, just for fun, I'm gonna stop the Infernus and not the, uh, the SUV. <laughs> Look at him. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna stop him. Oh, and the poles. If you, duh. Uh, <laughs> the poles, if you didn't just notice, are um, unbreakable. You cannot drive through the poles, so it uh, definitely leads to some interesting situations. All right, uh, speeding. I really wish my guy's voice would work. I might try to figure that out if I crash, but I'm not too worried about it right now. And hopefully I won't crash, actually. Hopefully I will be able to sit here and do a recording and not, uh, not worry about crashing. So let's run this guy's name. Arnold Bell. Um, you gotta be careful, just to let you guys know, if you're using a motorcycle with ELS and you're running, uh, names on it, if you have a name that hit that, that's with an F, um, you will actually get off your motorcycle and, um, not be able to get back on. What is this lady doing? Oh, all right, I think I'm going to stop her next. So that's a weird bug. You get the floating ticket book. Huh. All right. I mean, it's not too, too annoying. All right, let's wait for traffic. Because she just, I don't know what she's doing. Let's, let's figure out what her deal is. I'm going to pull my gun just because I ain't going to... I'm not going to die again. <laughs> I am not going to get shot and die. Um, let's do aggressive careless driving. Let's ask for the ID. See what this lady's... Wow, that's a name. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, let's run her name here. Let's put on my, my helmet hat thing. Just so I can throw it on the ground in a minute. Hudson. We're going in the Hudson. Um, oh. I'm off my motorcycle. Okay. Alright, let's give her a $100 ticket. Leave my ticket book floating in the air. And uh, hopefully she'll kind of work, work it out. And I love that. I, I'm starting to like the floating ticket book. Yeah, see, she worked it out. She's back on track now. All right. Let's go back to my spot if I can get on. See, this is what I'm talking about. I got off my motorcycle by pressing a button while running a name. ELS is on. So the motorcycle is now just currently rebuilding itself. And um, I can't get on it. So you got to be careful. Um, make sure to turn off your ELS before you start running names. Um, I am gonna do this just cuz I don't All right, that didn't I mean the ELS is still on but hopefully it'll disappear now. Maybe I don't know But I'm just gonna try to spawn another one All right Just get the pattern set up again uh, this is an ELSH, and uh, since I didn't enable ELSH, pattern EC3 um, is the uh, kind of simulated ELSH. It's not it's not 100% accurate, but it's it's pretty much the pattern that they use for ELSH. So instead of locking it so you can forget it later, I just do that so I don't end up regretting it later on. All right, so hopefully that traffic will delete and not be bugged out and oh look there's a house up there huh didn't even know that get back in my spot here 
yeah hopefully uh now that game for windows live is working i know a lot of you were saying it wasn't working for you so i, I really don't know what they were doing over there hopefully they're getting ready to um they said they were getting rid of it but we still have to sign into social club so maybe uh i don't know maybe they're getting things ready for gta 4 i mean i'm sorry 5 4 yeah 4 um <laughs> So, I don't know. But it's back up working now, so hopefully I can get Avs and Mike and Jeff in here and we can play this map and run some radar on it because I'm enjoying this. I, I like this. So we're going to sit back here and wait a little bit. Hopefully get another car to uh, speed. Speed by us. Um, yeah. Maybe. This map, I mean, it looks really nice. I know there's some snowy roads if you keep going up north, but um, that guy's not wearing a helmet. So I'm going to stop him. I'm pretty much just going to be a little more strict than I normally would be, just because you guys don't want to see me sitting on the side of the road doing absolutely nothing. So, I'm just going to stop this guy. Great, um, great, great parking there. So I got to stop behind him. Another little trick for you guys. Once it says exit your vehicle, you don't need to get out. Once it says that, you can reposition your car anywhere you want. I figured I'd just be a little helpful this video. Give you guys some pointers on, uh, you know, when it comes to using a uh, police motorcycle and just general tips. Um, speeding. Actually, no, I shouldn't have said speeding. Oh, well. It's too late. Thanks a lot. All right. So I'm going to run this guy's name, and I am going to take ELS off. Let's turn it off. So there we go. Now I'm going to run his name. It's going to be uh, Terrence McGowan. Oh, he has a warrant. Not good. So now that I've run his name, I can go ahead and turn ELS back on. It's no biggie. Alright, so I'm going to get my gun out and go talk to Terrence about his warrant. Alright, Terrence. You, uh, you gotta go, man. Oh, you just took your hair off. And I just took my hat off. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and arrest Terrence. Um, I'll just tell the the transport officer to pick up his hair, take it with him. <laughs> eh. Weird. Okay. All right. I need to disable that freaking helmet because it's getting a little weird that I keep throwing hats on the ground and growing another one. So. All right. Let's get back in my spot. Look at this guy. Genius. Oh, is he gonna cut that? Really? Really. Right in front of me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, he might get the front of his car hit. I, I'm not sure. Alright. Aggressive, careless driving. Actually, no, it looks like people are going to go around. Thank God. Thank you very much. They're getting awfully close, but... <laughs> I think they are going to make it around. Hopefully. Hopefully I won't get smashed. Alright, let's run this guy's name. James ah. Lamb. Alright, let's give this guy a ticket. Send him on his way. Throw another hat on the ground. Jesus. I'm just I'm gonna give everyone hundred dollar tickets because it's it's an interesting road and they really got to be careful. There's no median to uh, stop head-on collisions, so they really gotta watch out. I think he's stuck on my ticket book. Huh. All right. Well, sucks for that guy. I'm just gonna leave him there so he can despawn. I'm gonna go back to my spot. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, they don't like to use blinkers on this map. Notice that. So, gotta be careful for that, especially on a motorcycle. Oop. All right, where's my radar at? Oh, hey, it's still somewhat around there. All right, looks like it's good. So I think I'm going to do a speed limit of 30, and anything above, you know, I'll do the general 5 mile an hour over, so they can go 35. But anything above 35, I think, is going to be a stop, or if they um, are doing anything else dangerous, not wearing helmets, or driving in furnaces, <laughs> anything that would get a pursuit, because I think a pursuit on this map would be would be ridiculous. Um, which also brings me to the point of, I think I'm going to try to get everyone in the group to do a chase-a-thon again. Maybe another, another chase-a-thon... Uh, Thing, but uh, I think this time we might go with something different and maybe use non ELS vehicles so that way the police will be able to take damage and you can't just run forever. Alright, 40. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy that. You guys seem to enjoy the chase a thon stuff. Holy crap. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let her work it out and then I'm gonna stop her again she is gonna end up going this way all right here we go so yeah I know you guys enjoyed the chase-a-thon so I thought chase-a-thon non ELS would be kind of cool because once you're out of the pursuit you're out all right ma'am you were speeding Let's see that driver's license. That's great. Okay. So yeah, I got to admit, I'm starting to uh, enjoy single player videos again. I haven't done them in a while, and it's it's kind of nice just because you don't have to worry about making people crash. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, any other stupid multiplayer GTA things. So... It's pretty nice. See, look at that. Back off my motorcycle, but didn't have ELS on, so I'm going to be able to get back onto it. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to like single player, and I'm definitely going to keep doing more of it. Um, I really like this map, so I think I'm going to keep running radar on this map. Um, keep making videos. So yeah, keep leaving floating ticket books everywhere. It's my motto. Maybe not. Interesting. Oh, okay. Hmm. So it looks like if you get off your motorcycle while uh, running a name, you're you're stuck. It won't come back. Interesting. I'm also floating in the air, and I'm a little stuck. Um. Excuse me, motorcycle. Can you? Oop. All right. That's a little weird. There we go. Where is that guy going? Alright, I'm going to follow this cop car. I want to see where he's going. Actually, no. He's going down to the entrance of the map. And cars like to uh, get a little weird over there. Alright. Got my pattern all set up again. Gonna have to re uh, readjust my radar. Oop. There's like an invisible something right here, and I hit it every time. <laughs> uh, you gotta love these add-on maps. Personally, I do. They add so much, and I can't even think about what it what it is to go through to make one of these. So, I think this one was made by um, Still Dre. Um, along with a bunch of other people that helped, you know, script the cars and, you know, do everything. So thank you to everyone that has made this map. It's amazing. Great work. Um, yeah. So 
There, there's bound to be little bugs and glitches, but you gotta you gotta think about it. Make this map from scratch, and it's this good. So that's pretty uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, and you know what? This one because it's on a different side of the regular GTA 4 map, you could still have something like a, like a Ghost Peak Mountain. It wasn't, I don't think it was Ghost Peak, it was um, Clockwork Mountain. You can also have Ghost Peak Mountain. Um, so, you can have three different maps loaded at once. Don't suggest doing that. It will just destroy your computer. <laughs> Trying to load all three of those in. So... I'm gonna wait for somebody else to come up this road. I think this is a great spot. You can do it from both directions. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I want to get into a pursuit with somebody on this, uh, on this map. But we are, we are nearing the end of the episode, so I might just go ahead and maybe stop a couple other people and then make one of them run. I don't know. Um, so something that I forgot to mention in my other video, the texture that I made, someone said it looks like a, uh, a Quebec texture, which is true. I actually looked at it and it, it does look a lot like it. I didn't even realize. I, I knew it was bound to look like something because there's so many different police texture designs out there that I, I actually went and looked around on the internet and found it looks a lot there there's a bunch of different uh bunch of different police textures it looks like so it, it's it's interesting you come up with something in your head and then you realize that well someone else has first <laughs> so um and another thing is i was talking about the whole sim city 2013 or 5 sim city 5 if you want to call it um so I'm glad you guys like that idea. I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know about what Abs or anybody else is planning on doing, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And but in in anticipation, because I'm I'm really excited for uh, SimCity 2013. I, I can't wait. I'm going to uh, I actually have Tropico 4. It's kind of like a um, it's kind of like a SimCity, I guess. You build a city, and you know you build things that you need. It's it's like SimCity, but more of a um, private island sort of. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it, but uh, it's a fun game. So I think I might do a video or two. Oh, there we go. I think I might do a video or two of Tropical Four just in. Just trying to hold off while I wait for SimCity. Alright. There we go. This lady was flying. So let's go ahead and get her for speed. I'm going to go ahead and write her a ticket. And then... Afterwards, I'm going to force a pursuit on her so we can end the video on a pursuit like usual. All right, she has a warrant. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to give her a ticket. I know she has a warrant, but I'm going to give her a ticket, I'm going to hop back on my bike, and then I'm going to... Oop. Right? Alright, now I'm going to not be able to get back on my bike. I'm going to have to spawn a new one. I'm going to have to catch up to her. At the same time, trying to change my pattern. Oop, I just passed it. What is this? Oh, this is my old blown-up motorcycle, isn't it? Oh, come on, dude. Ah, <laughs> this is a mess. Come on. Alright, now. There we go, I got my pattern. Can't, can't, 
can't do LCPDFR without your light pattern. Alright, now I'm going to force a pursuit on her. Oh. If it's going to work. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully she'll take me down some roads that I haven't been before. Um, we'll find out. So, yep. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I have no idea how fast we're going. Turn on my speedometer. I know it's a Crown Victoria speedometer, but I want to see how fast we're going. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh, it looks like we got some backup. What is going on there? Ah, she hit a pole. Oh, it's an old lady. Was it an old lady before? Alright, let's put your hands up. Well, that didn't that, that didn't last as long as I wanted it to. But, uh... I think what I got from that is pursuits will work. So, I'm really excited to uh, do some multiplayer with this. Hopefully I can get them to download it, install it, and put it on tonight. Um, and maybe we can do the uh, last... Maybe we can do the last Ohio State Week on this map. I don't know. I guess you'll have to wait and find out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for some more videos. Like if you like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.